video so i know i rarely start the video from this angle i'm usually on the other side of the window but then my next two videos are literally going to start in the same place so i decided at least for this video i'm actually going to start from this point of view just to welcome you to the video this is uh, what i eat in a week i'll be honest and say um i work out on the days that i can i try to stay consistent but sometimes life be happening and like i don't do it as much as i would like to looking forward to actually doing more um but um eating wise i try to eat healthy i'm not the healthiest i'm not gonna lie i actually do not cook that's why it's like <laughs> no cooking just vibes somebody helps us with cooking or my sister is, somebody's always cooking i just do the simple preps i don't like cooking so basically it's just a 24 year old who's trying to be healthy and making the best out of our body welcome to the video hopefully you actually enjoy yourself and if you do, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notification button so that you're updated the next time that I upload. I always start my day with a cup of coffee because that's like a sweet kiss in the morning to wake you up. Okay, I don't know why I compare it to a kiss, but <laughs> well, coffee. And while the oats are boiling, I prepare mashed banana and uh, peanut butter and chia seeds. That's what I put for my oats in the morning. One of my favorite breakfasts actually. So I have my breakfast while getting ready just because mornings are my productive hours. So I just try to make the most of it and that includes saving time for breakfast. For lunch, we're having some fried cassava chicken stew and some cabbage i would say this is relatively healthy not relatively this is quite healthy actually yep okay so some people say it's not good to eat while watching something you have to sit there and like think about the taste dude listen i love food if i'm eating it trust me i'm enjoying the taste so what i'll be watching is um bds in the soup i've been loving this so so much so I'll be watching this while eating my beautiful lunch. vlog that you could probably tell this was the same day that I actually went to watch the Eternals so I went to the movies and I usually have my dinner around 6 7 p.m. the movie was at 7 and around 9 was it 10 I go home at like 11 ish I think but it was obviously really late by then and I was tired and I just didn't eat and went straight to bed which happens a lot actually as you will notice for the rest of the video I do not recommend <laughs> eat your dinner people On this particular day, I wanted a smoothie, but I don't freeze my fruits overnight because then they get too frozen. So when I wake up in the morning as my coffee is boiling, I actually put the fruits in the bowl. This particular is the passion fruit. I'll put the banana in too and then freeze them for like an hour or two or three. And then later in the morning, have my breakfast. That is the smoothie. So I'm just gonna put them in there and it might not be enough so I might add some water to it. So some days you finish the smoothie, some days you forget you're drinking the smoothie that it gets attacked by bugs. I don't know if you can see the ants because they also look like the passion seeds. But like it's been infested by ants, so oh yeah, they're there. Guess I'm gonna throw it away, and I don't know why this water settled here. Anyway, I think I drank quite a bit, but I'm now super hungry, and it's eleven, so I'm gonna snack because I don't really have time to eat a meal. I'm currently in the middle of editing, so I opted for some boiled eggs and some tomato with a bunch of lemon, and that was it before I left the house because I had a long day. So this is another day where I kind of didn't have dinner. I say kind of because I did 
okay i guess snack again later that day because i had costume i had to go teach at a school and i had costume feeding and then i had a meeting that again was starting around 7 p.m i think so i wanted to eat right before the meeting and then the meeting started so i ended up eating like right towards the end of the meeting which was like by then i was already you know when you're too hungry when you're hungry for so long that you're not hungry anymore because like as you noticed i also skipped lunch so that was it i ended up just sharing the meal with everyone so i had like maybe one mshkaki and then went home again got home around around 10 p.m too tired went to bed so yeah this happens quite a lot i am still trying to figure out a better way to like um eat while on my way home I actually slept in this day and so by the time I woke up I was like I might as well have my coffee with some with breakfast so I decided to make some french toast and as lovely as it would be to have all this to myself I was actually making this for me and my sister so yeah that is how I make my french toast which is again another one of my favorite breakfast treats can we call french toast a twist a twist <laughs> a treat a treat <laughs> Ah, uh, anyway, I enjoyed my breakfast. So I'm actually not at home for lunch. I am at my sister's place, so we ended up buying street food, which this is one of my favorite meals. If you've watched the video where the video where it is what is the video oh, called who knows me better so um this is one of the foods that was listed in the list Zege, one of the best foods it's not the healthiest however it is the best never like I wow pairing it with a cold soda because the rest of them is so hot right now it's not even making Ends to the assignment, uh huh, uh huh. Ends to the assignment. Did you? I understood the assignment. Why don't chicken feet in Tanzania look as attractive as they do in K dramas? I wanna eat chicken feet from K dramas. However, this will do for now. With some pepper. The bright side. We have some chicken. It's not as burnt as it looks. We have some leftover greens, um, apparently they're put in the fridge, but they're kind of frozen, so I don't know what's up with that, but I'm going to put them in some eggs and then just make myself some, is it scrambled, or what is the other one called? What's it called? I can't remember. Of course, there's some tomato sauce and pepper sauce topping, perfect. Oh. And for lunch today, I'm having one of my favorite combos. We just have rice and beans and cabbage. And with some coffee, I would have... Oh, okay. Let's talk about the mug, though. Okay. Okay. Oops. That's hot. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Um. So, the reason that I'm eating out of the pot is because the power is out. Tanesco has been... Oh my gosh, yeah, I should have showed you guys. I actually snacked on an apple and some peanut butter earlier, like two hours ago, which is why I'm not that super hungry. So like, I'm just eating because like I like to eat on schedule. Anyway, that's my lunch. So it is dinner time and we have some soup. But so that it's not empty, I'm going to add in some cabbage. Then I need some cabbage, which I also had in the afternoon with the rice. And then I want to add in some, some of the greens, which I also had for breakfast. So the thing about prep, prepping, like meal prepping, maybe like prepping veggies once a week, is that they can actually like last you a whole week and just actually fit in for different meals. Also, this is the first time in the whole week that I'm actually home at dinner time.
this beautiful Monday morning. We got some pilau with some eggs, with some cabbage, and some pork. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just fried it all together. Actually worked out today. So I'm going to enjoy this with some... Um, I didn't finish my coffee earlier, so... I think I'm just going to put this... Oh, yeah, I'm just going to add ice in, into this and have a beautiful breakfast. As by the norm... This is how I look right now, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and start doing my chores while eating breakfast. I usually do that because I'm very productive in the morning. So, like, to just sit... Or oh, I could just take 15 minutes and have breakfast. Okay, I'll take 15 minutes. Because the activities I'm going to do today, I can't do while eating. Because I usually, like, eat while getting ready. Pla for lunch today, I am in a hurry. I need to get out of the house, but I need to eat because I want to have time to eat where I'm going. I'm going for rehearsals. So I'm just going to take a piece of chicken, which was left over from yesterday. Piece of chicken that is left over from yesterday. And a glass of fresh juice. This is mango. I think it's just mango. Yeah. Oh, I've decided to add this bread. Yeah, I should be full with this. Oh my gosh. No greens whatsoever. But we move. Regardless. I'm gonna carry these cashews so I can eat later. Just in case I get hungry as a snack. Love cashews, my favorite snack. Okay, so is this is the dinner for today. It's actually chicken sakella with a lot of sauce, just the way I like it. What a great ending to the video.